Hello Pisces. Welcome to my channel. My name is Gladys. I'm just going to film this part and then once the part jumps out then I'll go and pause it and then I'll tell you the explanation. Memories. Pisces, you got the card memories. This message guides you to reflect on happy memories as you look back on your life. Remembering the good times can elect those joyful feelings and help you focus upon the love instead of the pain. If you are grieving the loss of loved one, feel glad for the time that you did spend together is especially helpful. Your guidance includes honoring these memories through a photo album or scrapbook, through a memorial contribution or celebration, over writing your memories in a autographical book or article. If you experience reoccurring challenging flashbacks, it may be time for you to work with a counselor who is especially trained in trauma therapy. This professional can help you shed the shadow of the past in a way that that's healthy and promotes growth. Additional meaning of this card could be contacting someone from your past, creating a tribute to a past loved one, taking care of your mind through meditation and brain stimulating work, improving your focus and concentration through detoxing and good nutrition. As I recall, your, as I recall Pisces, the reading that I did for you was talking about someone from the past. So the way I'm taking this is it's a message confirmation about someone you are having difficulties getting over someone from the past. It's swaying on your mind. So the only way to get over this is to think about why it is that you keep going to the past. What is it that makes you want to keep going back there? Is it a good memory or is it a bad memory? Do you miss this person? For some reason, I want, to I want to say that the feeling is that maybe you miss someone. And if that is the case, and you're in a situation right now that you are not happy in, and you keep going back to memories of when you had good memories, fond memories, because for the most part, anyone that always thinks of the past, they're thinking of the past so that they can think of the future and have that kind of uh, improvement to improve what happened in the past and learn from the past so that they can have a better life in the future. If you're stuck in a place where you're um, in a bad situation and you're thinking about past situations that were bad, the only way to get out of it is to get out of your head and stop being stuck in it. Go out in nature and try to relax and take in some deep breaths through your nose and out your mouth to try to calm your uh, anxiety down. Pray to God to give you clarity. Get some rest and sleep. You will get messages through your dreams. So you are missing someone from your past if you are constantly thinking about the past. Not necessarily someone passed away, but it also could include that this person that from the past that gave you memories, good memories, reminds you of someone that did pass maybe. I don't know, but I feel like led to say that. But I do see that this is resonating with the message card spread that I did for you for this month. If it is someone that has passed, I do apologize for those people that are going through that kind of suffering. And I know it can be hard. But know that they're up above. And they're watching over you and taking care of you. And that they're there with you in your heart. They wish you to be happy. And not to be stuck and depressed in the situation that you're in right now. Just keep praying about it and you will get the clarity that you seek. You just have to get peace of mind, get out of your head, 
because it's causing you to not get rest. If you get some sleep and rest and get away from the situation, take you a mini vacation if you have to and go to the next town and get a hotel and just stay in a hotel or it can be in your same town just to get out of the 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 place that you sleep in daily the home that you're always in just get yourself out of that situation go somewhere that you've not been in a while or that you enjoy a place that where you enjoy like in nature or something or just go to a hotel just get out of that environment that you're in and try to get you some rest in a quiet new peaceful place and you will see you will see that you'll get clarity you just got to keep praying about it you also want to keep in mind that if it is a situation where there where you keep contemplating someone from your past and that someone that you're with right now a two a three-party situation where you're stuck in the middle and you're having to choose because someone came back from your past wanting to reconcile and you're in a relationship now if you are in this relationship now you owe that person all your time if you guys are having difficulties and this is why you're thinking about that maybe you may take this offer from the past because you had good memories with that person and right now you're not having very good memories with this person that you're with now maybe you're in conflict with them or whatever before you go and take off and go with someone else you need to make sure that you've done everything that you can to save this relationship that you're in now you need to speak with that person and tell them the difficulties and that you want to improve your relationship if it doesn't work if you've tried this in the past you need to go seek for marriage counseling or some kind of counseling go to a preacher but you both need to be involved you can't it can't just be a one-sided party and you can you can only try to improve it so much you are the one that can change your reaction on how someone behaves toward you you cannot change someone's behavior toward you you're the change that you seek that you want to see if you want to see change in someone else you're going to have to do it in your in yourself and work within yourself and love yourself in order to move on to the next relationship. God has a reason why things happen the way they do. In the situation that you were in back in the past, where you did have this very strong emotional happiness feeling, and you're not there, and you wish to be back at that spot, well, there could be a reason why you're not there, Maybe there was some certain circumstances that got in your way or got in the way of this other person that caused you guys not to be together. But just know that God puts both of you in the right place in the right time. And in His time is when you guys will be together. But until then, you have to work on yourself and figure out what it is that God has you here for. And if you guys are meant to be together, if God really wants you to be with this person, you guys will be together. But just know that this time that has passed, that this other person has grown and learned from the situations that they were struggling in at the time. And it is time for you to grow and learn from the situations that you have dealt with since you've been apart from this person. And if you're engaged or married... You have to get that situation taken care of and then get out of it in order to start a new relationship. And if it's with someone new or whether it go back, you go back to your past to resolve the situation back then so that you can know whether you need to start and find someone new or reconcile. And if you keep going back to the past, to someone that brought you good memories for some reason back then it didn't work out it was because it was not in God's time it wasn't the right time basically 
that you be with this person. I don't know what the situation could have been, but things happen for a reason, and this person was brought into your life for a reason. And I'm having this strong feeling that it was brought, this person was brought into your life for the betterment of your self, for you to improve yourself and how you are realizing what it is that you want out of a relationship maybe or this person may be the one that you want for a relationship the type of person you want in a relationship i don't know what caused this person to not be in your life right now but if you are really missing them if you have any emotion for them you need to go talk to them and see where things stand and clarity on the situation so that you can get some rest and move forward and enjoy your life and be happy with or without this person. If you can get clarity, then you'll get peace of mind and you'll know what direction to take next. This person that you keep uh, going back to will understand and they will give you clarity so that you both can move forward either together or with someone else. I would really take this into consideration that if something is weighing very heavily on your heart and definitely heavily on your mind because you can't go to sleep you're not getting the rest that you need and you know you're not then this is a strong message that you need to take care of this and get it get it taken care of by the end of this month guys i did record your monthly video last week so a whole week has went by before i started filming these butterfly videos this is also a strong message for you guys that you need to get this settled and not let this keep hanging over you and get clarity on the situation because God has a greater plan for you. You need to get clarity in the situation so that you can move forward in happiness, the happiness that God wants us to have in our lives. He doesn't want us to be miserable. He wants us to be happy and fulfilled and to help others, to bring others to the light and bring them happiness. He does not want us to cause other people to be miserable. He does not want us to be in a miserable situation. Yeah, bad things happen, but we must learn from them, become stronger, stand back up, and move forward. And just learn from the mistakes and become a better person from it. And if this is the case and you haven't reached out to them yet and you're just now watching this video or you have not seen the other video, I will put it put a link above this video so you can click on it and you can see what I'm talking about. But if you have watched the other video and time has passed and you're watching this video now, it is time for you to reach out for that person. If this person made you happy in the past, they are more likely going to make you happy in the future. And I'm pretty sure that they were your twin flame. If I'm wrong, please put it in the comments. But if you are missing someone, most likely they are missing you. That is a sign from the universe that is telling you to reach out to someone. You need to get yourself out of the circumstance you're in. Be honest, be truthful to yourself. If your mind is questioning what or why you're feeling a certain way or you shouldn't feel that way, then you need to trust your intuition. Your intuition is telling you the truth. Don't let your mind play games with you. This is the time to trust your feelings and not be logical. The logic sets in when you realize the situation you're in and you need to come up with a solution to get out of that situation if it's not a healthy one. Make sure that you're being fair to the other person that's involved or other people that may be involved and know that you are doing the right thing because it is healthy for you to be in a happy relationship. It is not healthy, not health, healthy for you or your children or whoever is involved to be in a relationship that is toxic, whether they put you down or mentally abusing you, physically abusing you, no one deserves that. If you are in that type of situation, you need to 
seek help. This a message in this book said to go to a counselor. Let's see what it said. To a professional. Go to to, to therapy. That's what it was saying on here. Uh, you might need to go to to go go to a doctor that listens to you, psychologist. Or you might want to go to a preacher or to a trusted friend that does not have, that cannot be biased, that doesn't know the, both parties. But you need to be tr truthful to both parties about the situation. And the only way to resolve this in anxiety that you're going under, that you're feeling, the stress, the sleepless nights, is to just be truthful to yourself. The reason you're having this is because you know your gut is telling you what you feel. And just like I always say, you cannot choose when to fall in love. It just happens. Just like you can't choose when you breathe. It just happens on its own. Don't shortchange yourself when it comes to love. If you have emotions, if that's the conflict that you have within you, that you are feeling something you've never felt before, or you're feeling like excitement, just happy feeling, then you're most likely, that's your intuition actually kicking in. So you should go toward the happy feeling. If you are in a relationship that is not fulfilling, not happy, don't just give up because you can't probably get that happiness again. You just have to work things out. If this resonated with you, please leave a comment below. I would appreciate it. If it did not, view your sun, moon, or ascendant sign rising. And I hope you guys like these videos. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. Remember to treat others the way you want to be treated, and that God is always with you. God bless.